Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the forexpo.com. Victor with you here with another analysis for this week. Before we get started, again would like to remind you all the information in this video is presented purely for educational purpose and should not be considered as a financial advice. In today we we have a, a New Zealand dollar versus Canadian dollar idea, but as usual, we'll start probably with the update on the previous uh, currency pairs that we discussed in our previous videos. Let's get started with the pound versus Australian dollar. Uh, we expect this target to be reached. You can see prices consolidating, but yet uh, still to go down. Australian versus Japanese yen. This, this is our target. We almost reached it. Um, I would expect this price to be hit tomorrow, most likely. Australian Swiss franc heading towards our uh, second target, uh, although we already mentioned that some profit can be taken already or at least stop loss moved to the break even. The next one is pound Swiss franc. This is uh, one of the recent ideas. What is happening guys here is that we were watching for this resistance level and as I said only they can daily break and close above would invalidate the bearish outlook. For now, as you can see, price failed to close, it produced the spike. So you can see this red line, uh, which is at 1.2119. This is now the key level. If the daily close will be above, stop loss can be moved just above the high produced and trade can, can, uh, can be left run, uh, just opened. But if it's going to close below, this is extra confirmation that it's going to go down. So stop loss, uh, we are looking for this potential move at uh, 1.1620, which is uh, 500 pips. Obviously, the stop loss should be quite high. I would put it at 122 probably, but we, we, we need to see this where the price will be closing, whether above or below. In any case, stop loss could be slightly above. But I would, if it closes below, I would just wait for the next daily close and see what happens. Now, pound versus Canadian dollar. Also, we were looking basically at this resistance area and also the daily close. Where will be the daily close? I do still expect the daily close to be um, lower than the resistance at 1.75. Although it's possible, it will close above. In this case, stop loss should be uh, slightly above the produced high price today but if it's going to be lower it even better for our downtrend now the euro pound we were expecting this scenario to go up but uh, we were talking about this uh, actually a level so the price will break and close on our chart it failed to break here so that there wouldn't be any entries and Obviously, the price went down. I do still expect the trend reversal, although there are no, no specific signals on that just yet. So yes, it, it, it will most likely reverse to the upside, but still it's too risky to, to trade on the Euro GBP uh, for now. Now let's move on to our idea for today and this New Zealand versus Canadian dollar. What we have, guys, is the break above uh, the downtrend trend line price cleanly rejected it but very important and interesting thing is the dance around this moving average the price simply rejected it here it rejected it twice then we had this breakout and we had the break and close above then rejection of the moving average once again and finally we managed to break above this high and close above so this is very bullish a sign for the New Zealand versus Canadian dollar. And if we go to one hour chart, what we can see is basically uh, prices forming uh, according to the Elliott wave theory. We have wave one, two, three, four, and we should expect the fifth wave. You can see on this chart is 88.6 Fibonacci retracement at 0.8652. And this could be the potential target for this wave. 
What is very important also here is the rejection of the 200 moving average, simple and then exponential. They, we had a clean bounce today. Now you can see the 61.8 FIPS as well, this level. This is the support level. Let's move back to four hour chart. You can see that we had a spike, it failed to break, but then again spike and we failed to close below. So in my view, this support is still holding. And I use Fibonacci retracement again here. And we can see there is 327 FIPS. It cleanly corresponds with our 88.6 FIPS. And this is why this target is so important. Uh, overall, the idea is that the price will be reaching this level at 0 0.8650 and stop loss should be below this level at 0 0.84 because this was the initial bounce from the simple moving average. Below that, if there will be a four hour close below, this is an exit signal, uh, as simple as that. But overall it's below. I would expect this to be quite fast, perhaps even within few days can be reached. So here is the idea, the entry price for this trade could be between the current level and basically the 0. 84.45. So between 84.45 and 84.70 is uh, seems like a good uh, good entry point for buyers, and it's short term, so don't expect it to move quite a bit. But still, it's uh, about 200 pips. Quite quite a nice move for uh, for this currency pair. So that's it, guys, for today. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to put the like and subscribe to see our next trade idea.